Now that you know what the Bolus Wizard Calculator can do, let's program in your personal settings. Your healthcare provider will help you determine the Bolus Wizard settings that are best for you. While you can take this opportunity to practice programming and delivering boluses with the Bolus Wizard feature, do not attempt to use the Bolus Wizard feature to calculate your insulin doses until you have discussed and confirmed the settings with your healthcare provider. The pump ships to you from the factory with the Bolus Wizard feature turned off. To turn the Bolus Wizard feature on, press ACT to open the main menu. Bolus is highlighted. Press ACT to open the Bolus menu. Select Bolus Setup and press ACT. Bolus Wizard Setup is highlighted. Press ACT. Edit Settings is highlighted. Press ACT. Press ACT again to select Wizard, select On, and press ACT. The Edit Settings screen will be displayed with Carb Units highlighted. Press ACT to open the Carb Units menu. Choose the method you want to use to count your carbohydrates in grams or exchanges. For this example, we'll select grams. Press ACT. Next, you will want to enter the insulin to carbohydrate ratio you want to use. On the Edit Settings screen, Carb Ratios is highlighted. Press ACT. You will see either Set Carb Ratio 1 if you selected grams, or Set Exchange Ratio 1 if you selected exchanges. In this example, the Set Carb Ratio screen is displayed. Next, enter a practice setting for the carb ratio. Then press ACT. You have just set your first carb ratio. Because you may need one carb ratio for breakfast and another for lunch or dinner, you can set different carb ratios for different times of the day. After you enter your first carbohydrate ratio, press ACT, and you will see a screen that says Set Start Time 2. If you needed to program more than one ratio, you would set the start time of your second carb ratio on the screen. For this training, we'll use only one carb ratio. If you set a ratio value below 5 or above 50, a message will appear on the screen. This message explains that the carb ratio you entered can be used, but that it is outside the usual range. If the ratio is correct, press ACT to continue. If the ratio you entered is incorrect, press Escape and then enter the correct ratio amount. Press ACT to return to the Edit Settings screen. The next factor that needs to be programmed is Insulin Sensitivity. Your insulin sensitivity factor is the number of points, or milligrams per deciliter, one unit of insulin lowers your blood glucose. You can program up to eight different insulin sensitivity factors for different times of the day. For this training, we'll program only one. In the Edit Settings screen, scroll down to select Sensitivity and press ACT. Enter the practice value for the insulin sensitivity setting. For this example, we will use 50 mg per deciliter. Press ACT. If the sensitivity factor is outside of the typical range of 20 to 100 mg per deciliter, a message will appear on the screen explaining that the sensitivity you entered can be used but that it is outside the usual range. You can press Escape to correct the value or ACT to continue and confirm the value. Press ACT to return to the Edit Settings screen. The next step is to program the blood glucose target range. This range is the blood glucose range or target selected by your healthcare provider. As with other functions of the Bolus Wizard feature, you may set up to eight different target ranges. For now, we will only set one. To program this range, select BG Target on the Edit Settings screen, then press ACT. Enter the lower end of your range and press ACT. Now enter the high end of your range and press ACT. If the BG Target is outside of the usual range of 90 to 140 mg per deciliter, then a message will appear on the screen explaining that the range is valid but is outside of the typical glucose target range. Press Escape to correct or ACT to continue with values. Press ACT to return to the Edit Settings screen. The final information to enter is Active Insulin Time. The Bolus Wizard feature uses the active insulin time to calculate the amount of active insulin that remains in your body from previous boluses.
and then subtracts that amount from correction bolus insulin that you may need to give to correct a high blood sugar. Active insulin time is most commonly set at either 5 or 6 hours for adults. Please consult with your health care provider to determine the best active insulin time for you to use. To set active insulin time, select Active Insulin Time on the Edit Settings screen and press Act. You will see 6 flashing on the screen. If you wish to change the active insulin time, use the up or down arrows, set the number of hours, and press Act again. You will now see the Edit Settings screen, which will display the Bolus Wizard settings. Use the arrows to scroll through and view all of the settings in the Bolus Wizard feature. You have now completed programming the Bolus Wizard feature. Press Escape and the words Bolus Wizard Setup is complete should appear. If the programming is not complete, a missing info message will appear. Follow the instructions to fill in the missing information. Take a moment and practice programming your Bolus Wizard now. Before moving on, it is a good idea to review your Bolus Wizard settings. To get to the Review Settings screen, select Review Settings on the Bolus Wizard Setup screen and press Act. Scroll through the settings and make sure they are set correctly. When you are finished, press Escape.